This week on Crave, tweeting is for the birds, and who are you going to call? Mr. Ghost App. Hey, what's up? My name is Stephen Beecham, and this is Crave. Latvian artist Valdemars Dudums created a viral marketing campaign for IR Magazine with the concept, everyone has a right to be heard. So with this in mind, he has given birds a voice and the ability to tweet. By sticking pieces of bacon fat to a keyboard, he was able to record bird keystrokes, which are automatically entered into the Twitter feed at Hungry Birds. As expected, their tweets were unintelligible. The Mr. Ghost EMF detector is a Kickstarter project which consists of an app and an antenna that plugs into the headphone jack of your iPhone. Aaron Rasmussen, the maker of Mr. Ghost, created the app to monitor the electromagnetic radiation coming from your household appliances, and it could also be used to detect paranormal activity. The three features in it right now are the regular uh, kind of meter one, something that you might see on a regular EMF detector. So it'll give you the power of the signal, then it's actually showing you the waveform. So, you know, you can eyeball it and see if there's anything strange going on there. And then there's the history of the level of the, the power. My favorite part, though, is the gyro mode, which is kind of hard to see right here because uh, I'm holding it at a really weird angle, but it paints sort of alien style a, an environment around you based on the signal strength. Check out the Mr. Ghost app on Kickstarter. Kohler has created the Moxie Bluetooth speaker showerhead. For $199, you can sync your favorite shower time jams using your smartphone. The shower head is magnetically detachable and charges through a built-in USB connection. It has up to seven hours of battery life and contains 60 angled nozzles for a full water spray. The Indiegogo Com Badge is a Star Trek The Next Generation inspired wearable personal communicator for iPhone and Android. The Bluetooth powered speakerphone clips to your shirt for quick and easy access to voice commands without the hassle of having to take your phone out of your pocket, pick it up, turn it on, switch the thing. It also doubles as a place to keep your work ID badge. Play at home playlist. Engineers at the Illinois Institute of Technology's Robotics Lab have been developing a machine that can move on land and in the air. HITAC, or the Hybrid Terrestrial and Aerial Quadrotor, has a flexible cylindrical cage around it that acts like a wheel when it's on the ground, as well as a shock absorber when landing. Because it can also drive on the ground, HITAC has a greater range than other quadrotors because it uses less power. Experiments have shown that it can travel up to four times more and operate six times longer than aerial-only machines according to the lab. PopSlate is an innovative iPhone 5 case with a rear 4-inch e-ink screen currently on Indiegogo. The Pop Slate case is a customizable second screen for the back of your iPhone that enables you to display any image on the iPhone as a black and white image on the back of your phone case. To change images, owners can tap the back of the phone twice or alter a pic through the related Pop Slate app. The startup is seeking $150,000 in funding by January 15th to get the project off the ground. You can expect a color e ink screen from Pop Slate in early 2014. All right, let's play a round of Into It, Not Into It. I'm into it. I'm not into it. This is Into It, Not Into It. We run down some weird Crave stories and vote on whether or not we are into it or not into it. You can vote at home if you're watching on CNET. Number one. To generate interest around the New York-based fashion brand Nuka, best known for its unconventionally designed wristwatches, designer Mike Lubrano wants to make New York City taxi cabs out of DeLoreans. Problem is, they only seat two. Are you into it or not into it? Number two. A PhD student at the University of Toronto has made a smiley face kids tattoo that doubles as a medical sensor, which keeps tabs on a person's exertion by monitoring the skin's pH levels. The eyes on the smiley face serve as electrodes, while the ears are contact points for measuring devices to connect to. Are you into it or not into it? And number three. Train for Chocolate is an app for the Sunto Ambit GPS watch. It counts the calories you've burned during the day and reports back on how much chocolate that equals. You can also set it to beer mode and find out how many beers you burned off for the day. Burn 431 calories? Great! That's 2.87 beer skis. Are you into it or not into it? Look for the results in the next show. All right, that's our show for this week. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Stephen Beecham. You can find all of these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. And while you're there, check out this week's Crave giveaway. We're giving away the Norton 360 multi-device suite. All right, we'll see you next time.
Thank you.